Hi friends, it's Miss Emily from the Main Library. Happy October. Today I'm bringing you some seasonal stem. Now one thing that is in abundance in October, whether you love it or you hate it, is candy corn. And today we're going to do experiment with candy corn. We are going to put in five different liquids, hot water, cold water, vegetable oil, vinegar, and seltzer water. And if you don't have seltzer water, you can use a soda, some sort of fizzy drink, and you need half a cup of each of these ingredients. So I'm measuring out the seltzer water now because I didn't want it to lose its bubbliness. Pour that in the little glass. Once you have all of your liquids measured out, and remember to label each one so you don't forget which is which. We are gonna put three kernels of candy corn into each liquid. And then we are going to set a timer for a predetermined time. I'm gonna set mine for five minutes. We'll take them out and we'll see what each of the candy corns looks like. Alternatively, if you wanna do it a different way at home, you could leave them in and set a timer and see which liquid completely dissolves the candy corn quickest. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. My hot water. Oh, I can't. Four. That's all right. We'll do four for that one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to set my timer for five minutes on my watch. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what it looks like while we're waiting. So I have the timer set on my phone for five minutes, but while we're waiting, let's take a look at how each one is interacting with the candy corn. So I'm seeing bubbles coming up from the seltzer water. Looks like something's happening. Don't know if that's being dissolved, but it's definitely interacting with the candy corn. The hot water, you see some bubbles not as much as with the seltzer water. The cold water, seeing a few. The vegetable oil. And the vinegar. Not seeing any bubbles, but it does look like something's interacting. So we're a few more minutes into the process. Definitely still seeing some seltzer water, some bubbles, the hot water. You're starting to see some color coming off. Water's different color. Cold water. You're seeing a little bit of color, but not a whole lot. The vegetable oil. Can't really tell because it was yellow to begin with. And the vinegar, you're seeing a little bit of color come off. So once our timer goes off for five minutes, we're gonna take them out, put them next to the water, compare what the candy corn looks like and what the water looks like. And if you're doing this at home, you can do it for a longer time, maybe not five minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, or you can just let the candy corn dissolve completely and see how long that takes with your timer. Could take a little bit longer. Alrighty, so it's been five minutes. My timer just went off. So I'm gonna take each of the candy corns out, place it next to the liquid, compare each of the liquids to one another, and also see what's happened to the candy corn. So now that we've taken the liquid away and we can really focus on the candy corn, it seems to me that the least dissolved is the vegetable oil, followed by, I would say, either the vinegar or the cold water. It seems a bit of a tie. And then I would say the seltzer water, and to my mind, and my very non-scientific mind and my eye, it looks like the hot water has dissolved the candy corn the most. Now I've done a little bit of research about why this could be, but before I tell you, take some time and do 
prediction. Make some guesses of your own. So what's the science behind this? Why do some liquids dissolve candy corn faster than others? Well, candy corn's two ingredients, sugar and coloring, are made up of positively and negatively charged molecules. Water is also made up of positively and negatively charged molecules so that they can form relationships with the candy corn's molecules and dissolve it quicker. The temperature of the liquid increases the vibrations of the molecules so the hotter water is able to vibrate more and form more relationships with the candy corn molecules and dissolve more of that sugar and that coloring. Oil has no negative or positively charged molecules so when you put it in the vegetable oil, the candy corn, it just doesn't interact. As for the vinegar and the seltzer water, I'm gonna challenge you to do some research and see if you can find the answer. Let us know in the comments. And if you do this experiment at home, send us some pictures as well. Happy Halloween, and whether you're eating your candy corn or dissolving it, personally, I dissolve mine. I hope you're having a great October. Bye guys.